My name is Jeff Lowry from Phoenix, Arizona, a senior UCA. It's been awesome. I mean, we've been together since I can remember. Uh, even when he went to college, I still visited him. He went to Pepperdine. And then um, I was lucky enough, he came back for his senior year and we attended the same college with uh, Coach Russ at Grand Canyon. And I got to play with him a year there, which is pretty special. And then um, the transition to this school, UCA, has been even more special, getting to spend that much time around him. And I mean, we've been together our whole lives, so it's, it's humbling. And honestly, the first year it was kind of weird, him being my coach, and kind of difficult. But the adjustment was easier towards the end of the first season, I would say. Just, I mean, him not really getting on me, but just the adjustment from him going from a player to a coach. Obviously, he's still, you know, athletic and in shape. So he's out here sometimes competing with us um, if he needs to. And then, so I guess it was difficult for us as players and as him to kind of move the transition to be a coach and not necessarily compete as a player. Well, there's tons of great things about playing for Coach Russ. I mean, free meals being one, obviously. But uh, no, uh, I mean, Russ is, I've known Coach Russ since I was in seventh grade about, and he was actually my club coach. I'm sure most people don't know this, but he was my club coach when I was in eighth grade. And then, um, and maybe even ninth grade. And his dad was actually my club coach uh, growing up as well. And so I've been around um, his family since I was young. And I mean, he's definitely someone you look up to every day. And he's one of my role models for sure in my life. Him and my brother ultimately are probably my two biggest role models. Um, I'll forever be indebted to Coach Russ for what he's done for me. And so I really do appreciate him. Uh, the plan, I mean, I have some options. Um, I think it'd be cool if I have the opportunity to keep playing um, overseas somewhere. We've been able to travel, we've been able to go to France. Um, previously with Grand Canyon, I was able to go to Greece and Italy as well. And so I've seen some of the competition, some of the different leagues. Um, if that doesn't work out, then I also have the opportunity to be a graduate assistant here and continue my master's program which is another good option, I believe. And then I'll also have an opportunity to work for a company, hopefully. So I've kind of been interviewing here and there. And so it's a logistics company. I like Magic. I mean, I, ultimately, if I could build my own team, he would definitely be my point guard just because he knows how to get his team involved and he sees the floor like crazy. Favorite moment? Well, probably when I was in uh, eighth grade, we were playing in a, a tournament and we were in the semis, yeah, semis, and we were down two, I believe, and for some reason, like, they didn't guard me on in the inbound, and so I was wide open, I came down and hit a half-court shot, and we went to the tournament, or went to the finals, and then we won the championship. That was probably one of the greatest moments. And then here, I've actually been able to hit a couple uh, shots before halftime. Well, those have been kind of cool. It's always good to hit one of those. You know. Probably getting all my teammates involved. Um, I mean, as a point guard, I don't really look to score as much. Um, we have great scores. I mean, Jordan, Derek, Maddie, all those guys can score. So my job and my, I would say my best skill is getting them involved and getting them into the game. Because if I can get them going, then the whole team can get, can get going. And ultimately, it'll bring success, success for those guys. Any coach from history? Um, I mean, I think it'd be cool to play for Phil Jackson just because of the players that, he've co that he's coached. I mean, he's coached some of the greatest, co or greatest players of all time. And so just to learn from him and kind of how he coaches. Um, for college, I believe, uh, I think I'd want to play for Coach K. I mean, he seems, like, he seems like a really good dude. It seems like all his players are successful on and off the court. And he seems to know how to connect to his players and get them to play the way they're supposed to play.
<laughs> all time. Um, Magic uh, at the one. I, I mean, these guys would have to be around the same age, obviously. But um, the best two. I mean, I would I would probably use some of the bigger players today. So two, I would probably use Kobe, and then. I mean, you gotta have Braun in there somewhere. Three, maybe. Um, let's see, four. Mm. I was always a fan of Sean Kemp just because, like, he looks just like my dad. And so people used to, like, say, like, ask him if he was Sean Kemp when he was younger. But I don't know if I'd pick him. He would just be there because. He's a monster, I mean, his highlights are ridiculous. And then uh, five. Uh, five. I don't even. Mm, maybe the big fundamental, I don't know, maybe Tim Duncan. <laughs> He's probably the most solid five. Sorry, it took so long, I couldn't think. I'm taking Chris Paul my one, no doubt about that. Um, I guess I'll go with Curry. I mean, I like Steph, he's just a little, he's, he's Steph. Um, three, uh, Braun. Four, maybe Mello, maybe. Uh, you know, I never really thought about if I could make like an all-star team. Um, uh, five. I like Porzingis. I think he's a good player, especially because he's young and he has a lot of raw talent. He can shoot, he can post. He's a very versatile game. Maybe, I mean, maybe those five. I could just randomly select. If I have more time, I could pick a better five. Yeah. All right, I'm going with. Um, Dizzy Wright, he's kind of like a, not underground, but like not as well known. Uh, he's a rapper, he talks about good stuff. Um, probably uh, Jack Johnson, something, you know, so you got your rap and then you got something more mellow, you know. Um, and then, uh, let's see, Dizzy Wright, Jack Johnson. The third. Um, I don't know if you guys would know them. They're more from like the 90s or so. Pete Rock and Seal Smooth. Okay. It's a, like a beginning rap type group, so they're a little older hip hop. Honestly, probably a, probably a tiger or a jaguar. Because they're just, they're just, yeah. 